Thank you for joining me today. Um, so as we know, um, you are graduating um, in the next couple of months. So um, I'm going to ask you a few questions regarding um, this may really doesn't concern you as an individual, but basically the move to the new high school technically. So basically, um, just tell us your opinion, <laughs> what you like some advice that you have for like the the next senior cl class. I honestly, this, uh, this interview is already getting awkward. <laughs> I honestly don't have good advice for this because well, I hate the idea. Just, just try. It's the, the worst idea I've. Ever I'm graduating next year, so give me your. Yeah. Advice. Okay. All so right. my 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 advice is don't come to McDonald's because I'm going to be super angry. That's all I have is to that say. Is you're working next yes, year? Yes, it does affect me that the school is right there because that's four corners, okay. and I'm going to be screwed. Well, I can assure you, I will be royally walking screwed. In. I won't be walking in there. All right. So let's get started. So it's broken down to three parts. We're going to talk about the final months here, which maybe does concern you a little bit, considering you are the last graduating class here mm -hmm. at this building. Um, the big move, um, and the, the third part um, at the new building. So let's go ahead and get started. So when you think of 40 years at this building, what kind of meaning um, does that have for you? Um, I honestly... <laughs> I don't know how the teachers are going to be now because I know there's a lot of new teachers that are going to be at the new high school because there's going to be more people, more classrooms. So that might change that because I feel like the big part of this school is just the fact that the teachers care. And I don't want that to go away because we go to a new school. Mm -hmm. So let's go back in time for a moment. It's your first day walking in the halls here. What were you feeling as a sophomore walking in here? Okay, I don't feel very much, and I don't think very much about this. The guy just come here. The first day, I honestly was just pissed off I had to wake up <laughs> and be here. And there was a lot of people I don't, didn't like that I had to look at, and I wasn't used to it because I had gotten unused to it for like three months. Like That right there, every year, beginning of the year, I have to be able to be like, okay, I'm not going to hurt anybody today. <laughs> I have to get used to it all over again. You go. <laughs> Say, I'm not going to punch you. I'm not going to punch I'm not going to do it. Maybe, maybe you. We'll see. We'll, we'll see, see how it goes. I'm going to wait. I'm <laughs> waiting until the end of the year. Last day, you're done. <laughs> Say some stupid things to me again. <laughs> um, so what, um, what kind of memories are you hoping will be made here um, in the final months at this historical building? Mm. Honestly, I just want to get out of here. <laughs> There's not really a memory that I want to have here. I just don't want to be here anymore. Oh. And it's not because it's a bad school, because it's not a bad school. There's a way worse schools than this, but mm -hmm. I just, I don't care. Yeah. I just want to get my classes over with, get A's, be out, because I'm doing it all over again. I don't see it as graduation. I see it as more school. It's the end of the this year and go on the next year. Um, what are your hopes for what will be expected from students and teachers as um, they get ready to close um, this building I'm sorry what what are your hopes for what will be expected from students and teachers as they get ready to close this building um, I'm hoping that nothing changes really because I know a lot of things change um, curriculum changes and everything like that, but I'm hoping it doesn't because it doesn't need to mm -hmm. do you do you think that will be carried on at the new school? Or I'm hoping it will. Okay. But, I mean, something tells me that's not going to be, which is a bummer. Because it just it just gets worse and worse, it looks like. Because, I mean, we are a really good school academically, and they're still trying to push it like we're not good enough. Or like the academics aren't good enough, or we need to be this and we need to be that. But we're doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, like the elementary school. I can't even do my brother's math homework. I can do my pre-calculus <laughs> math homework, but I can't do my brother's 2 plus 2 stuff because they made it so complicated how to figure that out. Mm -hmm. So I'm just hoping that doesn't get worse. Mm -hmm. um, and so as a senior, being the last graduating class at, at this school, what, um, what kind of meaning or what are your um, hopes for, um, basically what I'm trying to say is what kind of things come to your mind being the last class here, what kind of um, closure? Or what kind of closure do you think you're going to give to this school as you get ready to close it? Um, really, the, f the first part, um, 
just what first come, came to mind when I realized I was the last one, or not me, but our class was the last one, was that I don't have to be a senior and go and look for my classes. I know where everything is still. You know, I, I, that bothered me to go to a new school as a senior and not know where you are. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit like, no, I don't want to do that. Um, really, I just, I think that we just need to keep, doing what we do mm -hmm. and it'll be fine yes. so part two the big move so um of course i assume that you you know a couple of teachers here um so and you do know that they will be involved in the move to the new high school mm -hmm. um in, ju in starting june um what do you think wh what kind of things do you think they'll be going through and the kind of pressure they're going to be under to get the building, the new building, ready in September. What well, actually, I talked to a couple teachers because I like the teachers better than the students here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> most of the students, I like some Don't of the students. Don't put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. So I just think that I think that um, yeah, I get along better with teachers, so I have more conversations with them, like meaningful conversations. And I was just, because uh, Miss Shirley, Miss Shirley's like everywhere in her classroom trying to, you know, make sure everything that she has is going to be with her. But at the same time, she doesn't want to get thrown away, which just seems like everything here gets thrown away so that, and everything you get have at the new high school in the rooms is what you get and you have to start all over. And that should not, and that, that might be hard for some teachers, I feel. Like it'd be hard for me to just like kind of throw my stuff away. Yeah. I don't want to have to throw my stuff away. I want to be able to keep it, save it. But I guess um, there's this thing about money issues mm -hmm. where they can't, um, it just costs more money to bring stuff than to just start over. But I don't know, that might bug me if I was a teacher, so. Mm -hmm. um, so what kind of, what do you think, what are your, well, what are your hopes and um, for what the students will be doing to, pr to prepare themselves to go to a new building? What are you hoping for? I'm hoping that there's more maturity. I, I really don't think that's gonna happen, but um, I'm just kind of, the one thing about the school is like no one shows up, everyone takes everyone else for granted. Um, and they mean well, and there's a lot of good people here, but um, like our new attendance policy, that wouldn't be here if we just come to school. Mm -hmm. If we just realized what was important and what was not and got our priorities straight, I feel like if we had that, we could have a more free area to be at school and they wouldn't be hounding us so much for these things. Mm -hmm. So they can't blame the um, school board and all that stuff for what what's happening here because they did it to themselves mm -hmm. or other people did it to them, but the school board's not to blame. Yeah. Mm. Um, so how do you think, um, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is how do you think the students will mentally prepare themselves to come to this building. When I when I say they, I mean like the the future juniors and seniors. How do you think they are going to prepare themselves compared to? Um, how do you think they will prepare themselves and knowing that they will have that responsibility of teaching the freshmen and sophomores what it means to be in high school and having that maturity level. Um, I think that. They do need to be, there's issues with the younger classmen right now. And there there needs to be just, I guess, if we keep doing what we do and keep voicing how it should be, then over time they will get used to, you know. Like, um, I remember when I was in the junior high, and as soon as I went to the junior high from middle school, everything stopped. You know, in middle school, it's all about popularity, and um, there was bullying, and there was everything, right? Because it's middle school. Everyone has problems in middle school. But as soon as junior high came, it was like, oh, I have serious problems now. I need to do this. I need to be focused on me, not other people. And, I mean, I, got, I thought that was just because it was junior high, but I guess our class, I'm proud of our class just dropping it. Um, and then the underclassmen bef after us, it made it worse, and it just kept, it's, they're, it's like starting all over again, and I think that um, we need to notice that and fix it before it gets a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Uh, so um, let's move on to part three, which is being at the new building. So how do you think the student body is going to prepare themselves for the first day compared to how the teachers will? I think that most students are going to sleep in <laughs> because it's right there. And I've had so many people just come up to me and be like, I get to walk to school today and be there in a minute. And I mean, that's, I guess, kind of cool. But at the same time, I don't think that the location is a good spot to me. Personally, it could have been somewhere better, like next to a bus barn or something. I, I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think that um, everyone's going to be excited to see the new building. I know the new building is really pretty. Um, you know, you just want to go there and see everything. There's a dance studio now. There's, you know, there's multiple things that you're like, I, I get to see this first. I get to be here first. Like, that feeling is going to be mm -hmm. something that they're going to look forward to. Mm -hmm. And as uh, a future senior next year, I know there's going to be a lot of the stakes are going to be high because there's a lot to be expected once that building opens mm -hmm. in September. You know, we have a new um, a new theater, we have a new huge gym for all four classes. We have, um, you know, first class material. Basically, you know, mm -hmm. we have a staircase. We have all this kind of stuff. Yeah. So there will be a lot of expected. I, yes. I think from things from will have to change. Um, I'm not saying there's a problem in how we treat things, but maybe that needs to be taken in consideration because this is a brand new building. We want to keep it looking the same. We don't want to screw it up, yeah. right? So I, I think that you need to act like you appreciate this because someone didn't have to build this building. Yeah. They did it because there's more of us and they want to make sure that we get the opportunities to learn that we can. So. If we don't treat it like that, it's kind of a slap in the face. Yeah. And it was a lot of money. Mm -hmm. What kind of steps do you think the juniors and seniors will have to face when it comes to getting new to the building, getting around the building? Um, I think that, like I said before, I, I would hate to be a senior and have to try to find everything. I was looking forward in 10th grade to being a senior and being able to be like, I know where I'm going. I don't feel like I'm not wanted here are uncomfortable in this building because I've never been here before. I can say I've been here for a couple years. I know what I'm doing. I know everybody here. I can walk in classroom and say hi to the teacher because I know them, you know, and they support me. Um, so they're going to have to get used to that. As a senior, you're going to want to make um, bonds with teachers and people that you're going to leave behind, and you only get a year to do that. I had three, mm -hmm. you know. Or yeah. There's just certain things that are um, – it almost seems unfair to them, but at the same time, they get benefits from it. So it's just kind of how they see it. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of environment do you think it's going to be like uh, with the two added classes, meaning the freshmen and sophomores? I think that if there was freshmen right next to me, I'd be upset. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly think that the three grades was enough for me because I can barely take sophomores. I know I was a sophomore and all that stuff, but it's just the mentality of freshmen compared to seniors is just drastic. And I honestly, if like if some classes were just, it didn't matter what grade you were in, it was like a PE class, I'd be kind of insulted that I was in a same class with the freshmen. Mm -hmm. Not because they're horrible people, but because, I mean, you've been through all the schooling and they're, they just skipped that and they're in the same class as seniors. So that might cause a problem. Mm -hmm. But... um. I think that, I just think that that's a lot of kids too. Mm -hmm. That's just a lot of students. I don't care how big the building is, like that That just would be a lot. And it comes, it comes back to what we were talking a little bit about earlier is with, it comes down to the maturity level because we know, you know, the juniors and seniors, their maturity level will be pretty high compared to the sophomore and freshmen where they are just coming from mm -hmm. junior high life, you know, they're, they're not really, mature they're not really mentally prepared for this entire envir environment which is um very mature you mm -hmm. know serious and you know with those two you know there will be kind of a constant maybe battle between the two so the the freshmen sophomores will have to realize maybe that they will have to become more mature that they will have to take on yeah. the role of being part of this mm -hmm. new student body compared to how middle school, yeah. junior high, and elementary school was. Yeah, me. I feel like, I mean, when I was in ninth grade, the teachers told me, you're, this is a high school. We might not be in the high school building, but this is a high school. You're in ninth grade. You get judged from nine to 12, and that goes to the colleges look at that. Mm 
Mm -hmm. right? Those are the years that matter, but yet you're not supposed to be um, mature enough to handle it. You're supposed to goof off every day. So, I mean, once ninth grade hits, you know, you got to realize, like, this is responsibility time. I got to, you know, mm -hmm. know what I need to do. Yeah, and I know because as a senior next year, it will be a big burden. It'll be kind of a big pressure because it's our response as a senior. It's your responsibility to set a good example. But mm -hmm. you can set a good example, but then you have to think about what kind of role will the juniors play, and will they be immature enough that when they become the future seniors, will they make sure that they will set the, the goals, the set the goals high for the sophomores, and how will they prepare the freshmen? You know, it all basically mm -hmm. it all comes back to yeah. It's kind of like the seniors, basically. It's kind of like like in my family, there's four of us. I'm the oldest, so I'd be the senior. <laughs> my sister would be, you know, so on, so on. And I mean, we get reflected on what we do. They want to do. <laughs> they want to be us because we are the upperclassmen, not yeah. literally but they want to be respected the same. They want the privileges of a senior. They want the same thing, but they don't feel like they need to act like it. It's kind of, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, hopefully if you just, if I guess uh, the seniors next year just do what they do, maybe if they see something, and I know we're pretty good at, um, now I see a lot of people when there's bullying, they stop it. There's, mm -hmm. not, that, there's not as many bystanders. I mean, there still is. There, you can't be helped, but stuff like that, you just need to be like, hey, cut it out. Mm -hmm. Stop being that way. Yeah. You know, and maybe over time it'll be viewed as something that's not appropriate and everyone's not like, oh, you got expelled. Ha, ha, ha. You know, that's not funny. Yeah. It may seem funny at the time, but it's not funny. That You just ruined your career. So it's serious. Yeah. Um, what do you see the first couple of weeks looking at the new, at the new high school? What do you think it's going to look like? I think that if I was at the new high school, I'd use so many excuses if I was late to class. Oh, my God. I couldn't find it. I still can't find it. That might, <laughs> I can see that happening. Yeah. I'd so do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but. Yeah. So as the year progresses, how do you think the staffs and students will begin to get used to the transition of the being at the new building? Well, it'll just, it'll work out. I mean, over time, I'm pretty sure it'll be normal. Like now, three grades is normal, but back then it was 9 to 12. It just keeps changing, and we get used to it, and then when there's a change like this again, we're just like, what are we going to do? But it's already happened. Mm -hmm. It's just the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, d down the road, how do you think, you know, in a couple of years from now, how do you think the student body will become more adapted to the building, and how do you think it will change from compared to how in Septem September will be two, three to four years down the line? Um, I mean, it's a pretty nice school. I'd be proud to say, hey, I went to that school, you know. Um, I think that three to four years down the line, it's just going to be a safe, I hope it's going to be a safe place for people, and they're going to be comfortable there. And like I said earlier, you're just going to be able to be like, hey, I know you. Hi. You know, and everyone's welcome. No one's looked at like they don't belong. It's just going to be, it's going to feel natural again. Like it is natural to come to this school. Everyone feels natural to come to this school when they've been going here for three years, you know. So mm -hmm. that kind of aspect to it. Is just yeah. And what do you think, um, how do you see September 2017 looking like in the 2017-18 school year? I'm, I can see it being a little chaotic at the beginning, but... Um, I have faith in, in uh, um, everyone figuring out how to do things in the year so by the end of the year they'll know what they're doing. So I think that it'll like die down and it'll just be like going to school every day. Mm -hmm. And I hope that's what it is. I hope there's not something different. Um, I don't want there to be something where everyone hates going there because, I mean, that would kind of suck if everyone hated going to the new school because... It's a lot of money, and I can't see that going well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, last question, which kind of answers our, our um, a question that we were discussing about earlier is, what kind of advice or what kind of opinions can you give um, the, senior, the next year seniors, the class of 2018, what kind of advice can you give them um, 
for being the first graduating class being there. I mean, knowing myself, mm -hmm. I will be a senior next year. What kind of advice could you give to someone graduating next year? I would say don't think about that necessarily. Just think about what you need to do to graduate first, other than being the first class. I'd be proud to say, hey, I'm the first class. I did well. You know, I made it. I did good in all my classes. I, I you know, but really, you shouldn't be thinking about, um, you shouldn't be thinking about being the last class, or the first class, sorry. I'm the last class. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you shouldn't be thinking about that type of thing. You should be thinking about what you need to do to graduate. That's the goal. You just need to look at that. Don't look at other stupid things that aren't going to really matter in a few years when you need to find a job. So um, just work, focus on graduating, doing what you need to do to graduate. That's really all that matters. That's literally it. I don't, <laughs> I don't have anything else. <laughs> well, I think that wraps it up for us. Thank you for coming by.